Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you the difference between awake and start when you're talking about your mono behaviors in the Unity engine. So I've gone ahead and created just about the simplest script possible using those two methods called start awake. We well, can see that over here in uh, vi uh, Microsoft Visual Studio we have void start here and void awake. Um, which any uh, mono behavior is basically going to allow you to use these methods. And uh, when Unity is running and things happen inside the scene, it will tell any of your scripts that have these methods um, to actually launch them on certain events. So for a start method, that is when the script is enabled and it is loaded for the first time. But with awake, the difference is that whether or not your script is enabled, it's going to call these functions anyway. So if we go back over to uh, Unity over here, um, we'll see if I run this uh, scene with the script enabled, you're going to have awake is running and start is running. Uh, you'll notice awake does run before start. And if I was to uncheck the script, then the only method that's going to run here is awake because start only runs if the script is enabled and attached to an object. So here we'll go ahead and run it and the start method uh, does not run because the script is not enabled. Now you'll notice uh, if I do uncheck the object, if I disable the entire game object, then neither of them run. Um, the script as a whole doesn't run because the game object's not enabled. Now, why does it matter? Why is it relevant that there's a difference between awake and start? Well, uh, one instance I personally ran into is that if in your script you, for instance, have, uh, let, let's just say something simple like a public game object test. And with this game object, you might be trying to get component for that game object. Uh, let's see here, try to spell it right. Get component game object, which on the game object or the, um, the, the object that the script is attached to, it's going to look for any components of game object and it's going to return, I believe, the first one it finds. And that's going to be assigned to this test variable over here. Now, you can run this in start or you can run it in awake. There's no difference in what methods you can call. But if you have um, this script disabled for whatever reason um, while the scene's running, and you have another script that references this script, for instance, the other script is trying to reference your start awake object, uh, an instance of the script or the script itself, and it's trying to get that test variable out of it. It wants to return the game object that's attached to that. If your script isn't enabled, then start's never going to run. And if you have this line of code instead in start, that game object is never going to be assigned. And that may mean uh, you'll start getting errors in uh, the Unity console. So for that reason, I generally find it's a good um, practice to actually have your git components added to the awake method so that regardless of whether or not your script is there, it's going to look inside of your Unity object and any game object you have in there, or if you do a git component in children, any game object or objects that might be children of this awake versus start game object, are going to actually show up there. It's going to be assigned to the script, and anything else that's going to try to reference that should work because you ran it in the awake method, and regardless of whether or not the script was enabled, the awake method is going to run. Um, so I hope that gives you a good uh, overview of awake versus start inside of Unity. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my future Unity content.